Well hi guys, it's me Daniel, um, welcome to the benchmark and as you can see I'm in a very dark uh, garage. Let me see if I can get some more light in here, hang on a minute. There we go, that's a bit better. So I'm back in Sussex now. Um, so the M3 stays in here where it's nice and safe as does the 35D which I will show you in a minute, don't worry. You guys keep asking videos about it, um, they're coming, um, because it's now my daily driver. Because as you can clearly see here, um, this is now being stripped to bits. Why is it being stripped to bits? Well, how else is it going to get painted? Um, we're slowly just taking the panels away, um, so far. So we've taken the uh, the bonnet, um, which is quite easy to do because it's aluminium. So uh, it's just a couple of bolts that are on the hinges here, um, and it lifts straight off. And um, you can see the glorious S54. And oh boy, what a motor this is! What a motor! Um, still got the standard in intake. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that at the moment. We'll get to that later. Moving on, we also have taken the boot off. Um, so I have no bonnet and I have no boot, which is kind of weird. Um, interestingly, the bonnet is lighter than the boot. Well, it felt lighter anyway. I'm sure if put on the scales, they're probably very similar. But that's what we got. Um, okay, so it's happening in stages. Right, I have no idea what's going on. My camera's playing up and I seem to be looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, yeah, so boots gone, bonnets gone. Um, later on, the, uh, the bumpers will be taken off, um, possibly the doors as well. Um, we're not painting it like that. We're just doing, well, prepping the bodywork like that. So it's getting sanded down, smoothed down. Um, it will then all be brought back put back on the car and then it will look disgusting <laughs> and then we'll drive it. It's only about two miles away to the paint shop where it will receive its glorious new color. Um, that's the plan anyway. I'm hoping to have it done around February time, um, at which point we will then have the new seats and the roll cage. Um, but you know how these things go. I've been let down by many painters before. This guy's come at the 11th hour to, uh, to save me, if you will. Um, I hope he does. Fingers crossed, eh? So um, I haven't gone quiet. Um, as you know from my previous videos, um, I've got stuff going on, which is why I'm here. Um, I can't go back to London for a while. I'm, I'm stuck here. Um, family comes first, so that's just the way it is. Um, but the car will get done and everything I said I will do, I'm going to do, plus even more. So um, I just ask that you stay tuned and um, yeah, just bear with me. It's going to be pretty epic. Oh, and also check these out. You're going to like these. Here we have my uh, Jordan 4s. <clears throat> these are called Green Glow. Um, they're the retros, they're not the originals, so they're the re-remake. Anyway, so I got my Jordan tag on it, but if you look a little closer and flip it around, <laughs> yeah, um, I had them custom made. How cool is that? So yeah, I've got my own tags for my shoes. Yeah, you can call me names if you like, but hey, I thought it was pretty cool. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and here's my studio uh, and how it's turned out. That's a genuine martini sign and that's my Jordan collection. 